Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna guide you to on how to use mockups. I'm gonna cover up a very quick basic tutorial in order to understand how mockups works. So you have no idea about mockups and how to start, then this video is for you. Mockups is a powerful web-based application for creating frameworks, mockups, and prototypes. If you are new to mockups, this tutorial will provide you with the necessary knowledge to get started with mockups and take your design project to the next level. So let's get started. First, you need to create your own account by clicking on sign up. It redirected me directly to my account since I logged in before. However, if you are still new to the uh, website, you have to create your own account. So now you have two options, either to use one of the many templates for that mockups provide you, or you can just start a blank project. Here we will just start a blank project so it would be clearer each element and how we place it. Now let's uh, name it tutorial and create project. On the left side you will have your left menu which contains many features that help you to build up your own page. So um, first of all you have this plus sign in case you want to use any template. Then you have stencils. Stencils contain all the shapes that you can imagine. You can uh, just hold and drop any shape you want. You can manipulate its size from its edges. You can even click on this circle inside and control the edges. You can make it rounded, you can make it sharp. You can also uh, control and manipulate the properties of the shape from the right menu. Uh, here you can control uh, the dimensions, you can also control uh, the text, if there is a text you can control the colors, the filling, uh, the opacity and many options. So let's add many other option, many other shapes so that it will help us in the following tabs. Maybe this one, uh, let's add a circle. And let's add a triangle. So I'm just showing off uh, the main features. We are not going to make a specific design. We are just hovering over the features. Next, next step is the pages, which show you uh, how many pages you have, and you can create a new page from here, and you can navigate across them like that. You can also pin a specific page if you want, you can hide it and you can even move it to the trash. Next is the outline. It contains all the layers or all the objects that you use in uh, mockups. So here we have added four shapes. You will find all of them here. You can navigate between them and each time you click on one of them, it, it's selected and you can control its properties. Next is the templates. Uh, this, uh, this section is really uh, beneficial when you uh, want to add uh, like specific features uh, for several times. So you won't have to start from scratch every single time. You make a template one time and you use it several times. Next is uh, the images where you can upload any image from your own device here. Next is the icons, which provide you m many icons, hundreds of them, that you can add to your page. Then you have comments. This is helpful wh whenever you are working on a project with other teammates, so it provides you with a way of communication with these team members. And here you have the settings and the support in case you want to, to access to uh, material and guides on how to solve some problems that you may encounter. And here you can access to your account settings. On the top, you can find many other options. Here is the draw options. You can draw many shapes. This diagram is helpful whenever you want to make a connection between two shapes, for example, this one and, and the circle, or this one and the bar. 
pencil allows you to free draw, not a specific shape. Highlighter allows you to highlight any text you have. You can also uh, draw a polygon, any number of sides you seek. And when you want to close the polygon, it will, as I will repeat this step once more. When you want to close a polygon, all what you need to do is to return to the starting point until you find the small circle drawn, then click. And here you have your polygon. Next is the rectangle ellipse. You can draw an ellipse from this option or you can draw a circle. If you want to draw a circle, all what you need to do is to just press on the shift while dragging and it, you will have a perfect circle. And you can also draw a line, arrow. You can also insert a, a text from here. You, here you will decide the size of the, of the border. And here you can write anything. And you can manipulate your text properties like uh, the size, the, the font, for example. Here you can manipulate the font. You can choose different fonts. You can choose uh, the text color different. You can control every single property from here. That's for the draw section. Here in the note section, you can add sticky note. You can add any note you want. And here in the arrange section, this controls the relationship between different shapes. So for example, I will just mention a single example in this part. Let's move this one here. And let's give each, each one of them a fill. I will give this one a red fill and I will give the circle another color. Maybe that. So if you want to control the relationship between both shapes, all what you need to do is to go to arrange and control this relationship. If I want to send this triangle to the backward, I will send I will press on send backward and here we go. After you finish your your design, you have two options either to export uh, your design or of your of your page or you can share it unfortunately the export is export option is only available for the premium uh, uh, to, for the premium subscriptions why the sharing is available for all so if I pressed on sharing it will give me a link that I can share with anyone I want after finishing my design I can preview it from here and I can return to the edit from the same button and when I finish working after exporting and sharing, I can return to the main menu to my original dashboard from here. Here you have the left menu, many options. All projects contain all your designs that you have created before. Uh, templates contain all preset templates in mockups that you can use for your future designs. Recent shows you the recent designs that you have accessed uh, in in a short while, and created by me shows you the designs that you have been that you have created yourself. Shared with me shows you the designs that other teammates shared with you, and finally, archive shows you the archived projects. You can also make a new project from this button. and as we said before, you can make it uh, from scratch or you can make it. Uh, using one of the templates provided by mockups. Next is the teams. Here it shows you all your team members. You can also add a new team. Unfortunately, this is not available except for premium subscriptions. Finally, the account. Here you can control all your account settings like subscriptions, like profile and password, integrations, and so on and so forth. You can also delete your own account if you are no longer, if you no longer need it. So as I mentioned, uh, this tutorial uh, is for exploring all the features uh, in the mockups. It's not for creating a specific design. So I guess now you have seen an overview of the features that is provided by mockups. 
And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using mockups. If you found this video useful, please give us uh, a thumbs up and subscribe for our channel. If you need another episode uh, about how to create uh, attractive designs using mockups, please uh, put it in the comments and we will fulfill your requirement. Thank you for watching and have a great day.